Hi friends, welcome to Noonday Prayer, Church of the Ascension, with Carney the Legoto. She loves doing Noonday Prayer. Glad to have you all today. Hi Barbara, good to see you. Hey Gordon, good to see everybody. Who else is out there? Good to see everybody today. Hope everyone's well. If you're following along at home, the order of service for Noonday is on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. You can also follow along at online, no, BCP online, sorry. Um, and you would click on Daily Office and then an order of service for Noonday. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said, said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. Our reading today is from the 13th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verses 1 through 16. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told, told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on the rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Then the disciples came and asked him, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to those who have, more will be given, and those who have an abundance, and, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that, quote, seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, You will indeed listen, but never understand, and you will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Here ends the reading. So in this gospel lesson, Jesus um, uh, tells the parable of the sower and, uh, and then explains to the disciples why he speaks in parables. They actually ask him. And, um, and a lot of people have written about this. I like what Frederick Buechner says about it. He says that 
parables orig in their original form actually were very extravagant and comic uh, stories. Um, and that the, in the original context, this would have been a piece of comedy. Um, in this, for this particular parable, it would have been hilarious to those listening that a sower would so uh, throw out uh, his seeds so randomly. Um, seeds were hard to come by and, um, and they were carefully used by sowers, by farmers and he would not throw out his seed so extravagantly. Um, and so this was a sort of a comic story that Jesus would have used to make a point, and that is, has to do with the uh, abundance and the extravagance of God, to, to think that a sower would go out uh, just randomly throwing seeds so that they might um, fall on uh, among thorns or on rocky ground, and yet, what Jesus was trying to convey was uh, the extravagance of God's love, throwing it everywhere, uh, where even it would have a hard time taking root. God still throws the seeds everywhere. Don't you think, Carney? Hmm? Don't you think? That's what God does. Yes, ma'am. Thanks be to God. All right, continuing with our prayers. Page 106, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we are... Uh, going to say our prayers today, and we're going to especially pray for Barbara's uh, great-great-nephew, Jamie, uh, Jamie Dremmer. Um, and so we pray for Jamie, who's having, he's four months old, and he's having heart surgery at Vandy. Uh, so we pray for Jamie this day, Jamie Dremmer. Pray for Avery Browning, Jerry Buck, Amy Caponetti, Thomas Frazier, Ann Hansen, Jimmy Hunter, Gordon and Kay Irwin, the Jenkins family, Keith Kelly, Terry McCrair, Emerson McCain, Louise McDaniel, Sam McNutt, Anita Medlock, Jan Neese, Chris Panel, Sue Pyers, Demi Perez, George Pipes, Diane Scott and family, Kathy Schutman, Carmen and Ryan Smith, Mark and Jan Vincy, and Martha Williamson. In our ongoing prayers, we pray for Sister Anna, for Lida Barrett, Paul Bergeron, Charles Garys, Becky Hare, the Nelson family, Ned and Beth Patterson, Sue Ellen Rail, Melanie Staten. We also pray for the family of Esther Johnson, who died last week. We pray that Esther would go from strength to strength in the life of perfect service to our Lord. This prayer is on page 833. This is a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Probably most of you know it. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, 
through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. The blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and those whom you love this day and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great to see you all, folks. Say goodbye, Carney. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. God bless you.